Here's our URL. We take that, we go back to Free Code Camp, and then we paste in our solution link, say we've completed it, it runs a test, and boom, just like that, we completed it. Hello everyone, I'm Landon Schlungen. Today we are doing the request header parser microservice. This project is pretty simple, and to get into it, we just click on it, and we can uh, use our REPL.starter project to complete our project. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use that. It's supposed to be functionally similar to this right here, where if we hit this who am I part, it gives us our IP, our, our IP address language and the software we're, we're using. So if I click on this, there's my IP. <laughs> yeah, I think you can figure out where I am based on that. But uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, what we're supposed to make is using this REPL and we can import it from GitHub. Um, if you don't have a REPL, make sure to create an account. You should have one by now, because this is the second project of this uh, series. All right, it should look something like this. Also, you can change your uh, theme by just going into your user and then clicking on themes, and then you can choose whatever theme you want. I'm going with the Winter is Coming theme, uh, and our file that we're working in is index.js. It's, this one's pretty simple. Here's our API endpoint. What do we have to do to it? Well, we have to uh, go to slash API slash who am I and then return IP address, language, and software. So we can just copy this who am I part, go back, and then instead of slash API slash hello, we do slash API slash who am I. And then all we have to do is get our different requests things in here. So the first one is IP address, and that can be found by rec.socket.remote address. And we get IntelliSense on that too, which is pretty awesome. The second one is language, where we get from rec.headers and then dot accept language. And then if you tab over it, it gives me it the correct notation to grab that. And then the last one is software with rec.headers uh, user agent. So user agent like that. And then I think that's all we have to do for this one. It's uh, pretty simple. And then we can run it and then take the output from it and try try it with the free code cam tests. So give it a little bit to warm up and run. Here's our URL. We take that, we go back to Free Code Camp, and then we paste in our solution link. Say we've completed it. It runs a test, and boom, just like that, we completed it. Uh, for the GitHub link, if we want to add it to GitHub, we can go back here, and all we have to do is go into our shell. So I'm going to open up the shell here, and we can add it to GitHub. So also, uh, you would have to go to GitHub and create a repo. So I'm going to do that quick. I'm going to do new repo. I'm going to call it FCC um, header parser. Header parser. Yeah. And then let's create this repo. And then all we have to do is this stuff here. Um, I'm going to just add the remote origin though. And then do it in a couple different parts. So the first thing we have to do is remove the original git repo. So to do that, we can show hidden files. And you see this .git file right here? Uh, yeah, just get rid of that. <laughs> we don't want that. And then we're just going to do a git init, and it will pop right back in. Except this time, it's under our control. <laughs> and so now we can do uh, git remote add origin, that thing that I copied. And then that will uh, add my repo as the origin for this uh, project. And then we can do git add all, uh, git commit dash m, initial commit. And then once that's done, uh, also it says, please tell me who you are. All right, now will it work? I think, I think the commit worked, uh, or maybe not. Let's try this git commit again. There we go. Now I can push this up. So I do that with git push, except it's going to say uh, origin master. I'm also going to change the branch name. So we're going to go git branch uh, dash m and main. 
and then that will change it to main, and then I can do git push. Uh, git push dash u origin main origin main. All right, and then once that's done, I can also pass my GitHub credentials. Um, if it's your first time passing it, then you'll probably have to log into GitHub and whatnot. But now when I go to GitHub and I refresh this page, I should see all of our code. Would you look at that? So now it's on GitHub and we can take this URL right here, go back to free code camp, paste it in, and then we can say we've completed it, but also with the GitHub link, which is important for employers to see your work. So anyway, if, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. The next thing we're working on is this URL shortener and yeah, it should be fun. So I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.